Today was the first day of the federal snapper season, and we all know how strict the regulations are. The Marine officers tasked at enforcing those rules have a new canine unit this year to help them. A few months ago, News 5's Emily DeVoe took us along on one of their training runs. Well, today she got a chance to see if that training paid off. Marine resource officers are busy with the start of snapper season. Easy, girl. But this year, they have a little help. Finish. Okay. From Morgan, one of the enforcement division's new canine units, better known as the snapper dog. With her having a few seconds on board the vessel to locate fillets, it makes my job a lot easier. Since the season just started, today's the first time we've seen her in action outside of training. We've had a lot more repetitions, which makes the entire thing a lot more realistic and that helps with her training aspect. When the officers pull up to check registration and fish, check here. Morgan sniffs around making sure the boaters aren't hiding anything. She's trained to look for the source of the smell, not the smell itself. People have been really receptive to her being on the vessels. And today, from the boaters we stopped, that proved to be true. I've only seen them in the woods hunting before. I've never seen one on the boat in the Gulf. That, that's awesome. I like that. I like that idea. Just check here. Of course, no one here was doing anything against the law, so no wonder they were happy to see us. That's part of my uh, original uh, purpose was to change the behavior and let people know that we have this available and that they go ahead and abide by the law from the beginning. Morgan's owner, Lena Phillips, hopes the dog and snapper reporting will convince the feds to make a longer season. And we're trying to let them work for you so the snapper season can be elongated. And that's something everyone out on the water can get behind. In the middle of Mobile Bay, Emily DeBeau, News 5.